The spring in this problem has a force constant of K, 400 newtons per meter. A 2 kilogram block is pressed up against it so that it compresses the spring by a distance x of 0 0.220 meters. The block is released and slides across a frictionless surface, finally hitting a ramp with this angle theta of 37 degrees. It slides up and comes to a rest. We're asked in part A to find the block speed before it reaches the ramp, and in part B, this distance d. We'll solve part A using the work and energy equation, work done by other forces, plus the initial energies, kinetic plus the two potentials, equals the final energies, kinetic and the two potentials. If we label the initial point here, just before the block gets released, and the final point here, just before it reaches the ramp, there's no work in between those two points. The block starts from rest, so there's no initial kinetic energy. It begins and ends at the same height, so the gravitational potential energies cancel. And the final spring potential energy is zero, because the spring is neither stretched nor compressed when it's at point F. So we have spring potential energy converted into kinetic energy. We can solve for the final speed. And substitute values finding that it is moving at 3.11 meters per second just before it hits the ramp. In part B, we're asked to find how far up the ramp it goes. So now we can move the final point up to the top and use the same work and energy equation. As before, there's no work other. The initial kinetic energy is zero, and if we set y equals zero on the ground, there's no gravitational potential energy either. At the final location, the block is momentarily at rest before it starts to slide back down, so kf is zero, and the spring is neither stretched nor compressed, so this term is also zero. And we end up converting spring potential energy into gravitational potential energy. Solve this for the final height, y sub f, to get this expression, and substitute all the numbers finding that the block's final height is 0 0.494 meters. We can relate that height to the distance that it slides along the ramp, because yf equals d sine of theta. d is the hypotenuse of that triangle. And solve it for the distance d that the block slides along the ramp. It's the final height divided by sine of theta, and substitute the known values to find that d equals 0 0.821 meters.